Hello everybody, welcome to my Blood Bowl 3 Elven Union guide. Um, so, we've got uh, what, what Blood Bowl 3 says about them. Superior Elven Agility, yes, they have got Agility 4 across the team, very good. Are the best at handling the ball? Uh, well, I mean, I kind of. They don't have sure hands, but they're Agility 4. And their blitzes are okay at passing. They have an excellent passing game. The problem is, that's not really a plus point, because who cares about the passing game? The weak points is hiring costs are high. Uh, they are on the positionals, but not on the linemen. Uh, like that's one of their strong points, is the linemen are cheap, uh, but they're a bit rubbish. It says average robustness. They are not. They are they are below average robustness. They are on the seven across the board, only AV8 on the blitzers. Um, so, that, first of all, this is a, a really good feature of the new Blood Bowl 3 game. You you can create a new team, you can use their preset, which is, you know, almost always rubbish, or you can make your own presets. So here we've got the only preset, that, well, the only roster I would ever take for a starting Elven Union team. And here it is. We've got three re-rolls, um, no additional dedicated fans, two blitzers, two catchers, and seven linemen. So yeah, it's a pretty basic team build. Uh, it's unchanged from uh, Blood Bowl 2, apart from you lose a thrower, because they've increased the cost of blitzers. And uh, they've also increased the cost of throwers, but, you know, who, who cares, really? Like, you know, they've made the throwers worse, really, by, by increasing the cost of them. So, let's have a look at the team. Got blitzers here. Block and sidestep for 115k. You can't see that. Oh, yes, yeah, so you can. 7 3, 2. So, yeah, agility has been changed to a 2 plus. Passing is 3 plus. They're still pretty decent at passing. You can still farm some completions on your blitzers to level them up uh, if you're going to do a dacker or something. So, that that's kind of interesting. And armor 9 plus now instead of 8. So, pretty much unchanged from Blood Bowl 2. Uh, of course, leveling has changed a lot now. Um, the way leveling up works, you really just need to look at what stats you want and what primaries and what secondaries you want and and they're the priorities right so the priority here is to get dodge wherever wherever the hell it is dodge to make them blood step and then they're pretty much finished at that point then um, they do want guard probably or you can just save up for stats and uh, try to get to so yeah probably what i do is i'd probably go dodge first then save for stats if i don't get strength or agility i would take guard um, as the secondary from that failed stat roll and then probably just save up for more stats and just try and get you know blodge guard blodge guard and stats on everybody is pretty much a perfect team um, so yeah but I mean they're great starting with block side step is fantastic getting dodge early and make them blodge steppers is really good catches are weird 100k um, catch is somewhat relevant but not really nerves of steel is somewhat relevant but not really so they've basically got, you know, they're 8, 3, 2, 8. Oh, it's so weird. Like, they're, they're 8, 3, 4, 7, right? But now this has been split into, like, a weird subdivisions, which I'll never get used to. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they, they are what they are. They've got worse because they're worse at passing. That makes them quite a lot worse because, they, they, you know, Nerves of Steel did double duty for them. Now it's not so good. Um, so they want Wrestle or Block. Either are fine. I tend to go... I tend to always go dodge on them first. And then usually block. Occasionally wrestle. Uh, I guess the first two will definitely go dodge then block. And yeah, once you've got them blodge, well, you could go for guard or mighty blow. You know, have a mighty blow tackler that can run around blitzing things. That's pretty good. Because you don't really want them in contact to use the guard too much. You want them to hit and run, so generally I'd, I'd try to make one of the catches a mighty blow player and leave the uh, guarding to the blitzers. You can save up for stats. You can go bludge and then save for stats, especially as they like movement. So they can get movement, agility, very nice. And then if you fail, you can take the uh, guard. Or, like Guard is still great on them. Guard a mighty blow on them for the doubles. And here's the lineman, 60k, 6'3", 248+, <laughs> uh, 
Uh, and yeah, they, they're just the same as they always were. Well, no, they're not actually. They're very different. So they're just the same as they always were most of the time. You can take dodge, you can take block or wrestle, and they're done. You can try to take random normals, I guess. You could, but, you know, who knows. But what they have now is they have a new thing, which is dirty player, which they had before. You would, you would often see some some pro teams with a dirty player. But now, sneaky git is much, much improved. Much improved. So, sneaky git dirty player is an absolute thing that, that pro elves can make more use of than, than other elves because they've got the cheap alignment so they generally can have a deeper bench. But they're not really because they take more cars. So maybe you'll just see more dark elves and high elves, actually. But... You know, the idea, you could try and min-max them more, right? You could try and play without catchers or or only two catchers and try to min-max and have a bit of a bench and, and try to foul more. Because, yeah, Dirty Player Sneaky Git is an incredible combo in the new rules. And, yeah, this is the starting roster. So I guess I could have a look at the thrower. That I... Okay, so here's the thrower. He's not somebody I would ever take on a starting team, but if you build a team to high TV... Um, then he's okay to have because he does help with the two turns, especially with two plus passing. You know, it, it's usually not very relevant. Passing is not a good strategy. It's not something you ever want to to do. It's especially basically because it only works on offense, right? The chance of you having the thrower on defense in the right place to to do what he does is really low. So you're basically playing for like only half the utility. Um, but if you want to have him to make your one turn and your two turn drives smoother, then that's okay because you can afford that if you've got a 2000 plus TV team. You can afford a little bit of bloat to make the one turn and the two turn a little bit better. But I would never have him in like a, in, in like a redrafting format or a tight TV format. He's basically terrible because pass is not worth 15k. Passing skills are not worth the access. They're not worth anything at all. Um, the, only, the only decent passing skills are leader and on the ball, which aren't really to do with passing at all, right? Um, but, you know, you could you could give him sure hands to help with pickups, and obviously block and dodge um, are good defensive skills. So there you go, that's the uh, that's the thrower. And that's that's the pro team. I, th I think they're fine, you know, they're, they're Elven Union slash Pro Elves, whatever you want to call them. They're fine, they're, they're elves. I still think they're the worst elves. I think maybe dark elves have become the best elves, and then high elves or wood elves, and then pro elves still remain, in my opinion, the worst elves. But they're fine, and they can still win games, but yeah, it's the nerfing the passing sucks for them, but of course there's no piling on to devastate them, and the way redrafts work, maybe it does help to, to min-max and only run two out of four catches. You know, maybe that could be an idea, but... Um, it, it's so hard to like do these guides now, right? Because everything's so dependent on format, whether there's redraft, how how long are the seasons, what the redraft cap is, that you can't really make hard and fast rules apart from what should be the first two skills for somebody, basically. And with elves, that's blotch. <laughs> and then the double is guard, and you want stats on blitzers. So I guess, I guess that's as, as simple as basic as every guide's going to be. So there you go. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.